Let's get more rancher boys going. That should be fine. There we go. So, do you reckon we should get rid of stone hatches or normal hatches? What should we keep? What's the what's the benefit in keeping either of them? Normal hatches, obviously, we can feed all of our gubbins to. Um, what's your opinion on petroleum cookers now that sour gas is a thing? Honestly, couldn't tell you, Pseudo. Um, I honestly don't know. I mean, nothing's really changed apart from you. You need to now cool, you know, recondense the sour gas. So it's nothing's really changed. It's just you need to incorporate another, another common build into your into your final build, if you know what I mean. Like we've been making super coolers for a long, long time, so uh, it's just builds have gotten bigger, which isn't really a big deal, is it? Let's face it. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't really care. I think it's fine. So let's wait, 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 wait. I don't want that. With our stone hatches. And we could just feed these sedimentary. Yeah, let's do that. Let's stop feeding them gold. God, it's really annoying how it does this. I really don't know how they've ballsed up these uh, critter feeders so badly. Go away. So we're just feeding some sedimentary. That should be fine. Just for now. I, again, I do need a place to dump excess critters. I might just make a room here for now until I can be bothered uh, making a kill room. I think you need to recondense it to make liquid methane and then reheat it into natural gas. Well, no, it's just you need to... Once it's become liquid methane, you just need to warm it um, ever so slightly so it evaporates. So liquid, liquid methane we've been making for a long time, or liquid natural gas, should we say, we've been making for a long time. Um, it used to be very, very easy to make. Uh, I think you only had to get it to like minus 130 or something like that, 150 odd. It wasn't wasn't very much, so you could do it just by cooling oxygen and using oxygen as your cooler. Um, and then obviously when oil came in and oil was really powerful, we used to use oil and petroleum to do it. Uh, but then they gave oil like a 50 degree freeze rate or whatever. It used to be crazy low. Um, but yeah, we've made liquid methane many times before. It's a lovely, lovely orange colour. But um, yeah. The, the, the fact that you need to warm it up again to make natural gas, that is a good thing. It means you can use it as a coolant for a bit and uh, cool some other parts of your system down. Which is fine. Right, let's get a bit of stuff going in here. And let's carefully deconstruct this. Oh, let's see. We've got a night owl or a narcoleptic. Eh, let's take nails. We're taking nails and we're going to put on the narco crew. Get her trained up. At some point I'm going to have to have a look at all my jobs and stuff because they are carnage at the minute. Like my priorities and stuff are all, all over the place. Um, so yeah, with like normal petroleum boilers or uh, natural gas cookers that we used to make, you'd end up using the oil itself as a coolant um, because you would preheat your oil whilst putting it through the system and using that to cool down your natural gas before it hits your pumps. Uh, now you've got the benefit of still using your oil to warm up the warm up the oil before it hits your boiler plate, if you like, um, and then you've got methane that you can pump around your pumps to keep them cool. And also cool down the sour gas a little bit in the process. So it's kind of, it balances itself out a little bit. You can get to like a happy medium. At least that's the impression I get from it. I mean, I've mostly theory crafted in fairness, so. I don't actually, I've not spent any time in debug messing about 
um, and I've not played much of this offline as I say my, my offline game is at cycle 100 or something it's not very far okay we're going to do a little sweep and get all this ice out of here in a minute because it keeps keeps leaking everywhere don't you think you would stop taking dupes performance as much less of an issue oh well hold on one second something I noticed last night let's just do a quick save there is an option we were talking about the uh, being in the development build down here um, I noticed there's an option. We can go to data collection. We require the collection of user data to assist in improving game operations. Players who opt out of data collection will no longer send crash reports and user data to the game team. Is this just crash reports or the, is this the debug teams, do you reckon? Uh, debug um, things that are running. At what point would O2 and 3 become too much of a hassle? Um, well, the more dupes you get, more dupes isn't necessarily a problem. It's it's more about your water supply, how much water you've got. It's crash only. Ah, okay. I'd never noticed that before, so I was just curious. Um, yeah, the more dupes you have, the only real thing that increases is your oxygen needs. So it depends. It depends on a number of variables, really. How much water you've got. Um, how much natural food you're using, for example, if you've got lots and lots of natural food that you've left in place, then you, you know, you can harvest the balls out of that, and um, you don't need to put loads of plants in. I've I've gotten rid of a lot of the natural food and all the ice biomes we found so far. I don't have any like monster ice biomes that I've, you know, kept the sleep wheat in place. A couple of these I might do, but they're a bit far from the base to, uh, to warrant sort of nurturing. But it's kind of just all about balancing up your numbers, really. That's what it comes down to. Right, let's make a kill room. Let's make a kill room whilst I'm uh, pondering. You can disable the debug running. Hold on, what's that? Uh, been there a bit, I think I've seen it before. Yeah, I'd not noticed it before, Max. You can disable the debug running backside in the game files only. Right, okay. Ah, fuck it. We'll see how we, we'll see how we get on for lag. Hopefully I'll be alright. Um, let me think. I'm going to want a room that I can flood with water. Where I can drop my dupes, uh, my hatches into. And close the doors. But it's going to need to be deep enough so that the hatches can't jump out. We're going to do like a nice looking pit thing. It's going to be lovely. So we'll have like uh, mesh tiles in the middle, like so. Don't know why I'm building them out of copper. What the fuck? It'd be lovely. Yeah, Use a bit of gold. And then under here there'll be doors. Yeah. Are there any better ways of doing this now? I don't honestly know what the uh, bastard. Wait, I've made that all wonky. What the fuck am I doing? Um, I don't actually know what the um, best ways of doing this are nowadays. Do, 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 do. Alright, so there's, that's my width to the room. You gain 30 frames in your colony. Holy shit. Well, that's worth it then. But we'll have to see how we get on. If it starts killing the game for the stream, then I might have to pick your brains about that. I don't know. I might have to pick your brains and find out how we do that. Muggins, how's it going? How are you, buddy? Right, so I want to be able to... How do I want to do this? Do I want to drop them on a on a thing first? Do I want to just drop them into a pool? Do I want to move the water up or do I want to just drop the critters? That's my question. We could just drop the critters, couldn't we? That'd probably be easier. That would probably be a lot easier. Um, bang, bang, bang. And then we could just have a single sweeper arm in here. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> What's that you say, Candy? Man? Sitting there smoking a fatty and getting lost in your game. You're buying it now. I would recommend it, mate. Especially if you're a stoner, man. Ask Mex. Mex is the biggest fucking stoner in the world. He just sits there chilling with it. Actually, no, I take that back. Mex isn't the biggest stoner in the world. Mex is the most consistent stoner in the world. He's not he's not a big time big time smoker. He's a controlled smoker. I don't want to give him a bad rep, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, what we'll do, we'll fill this bottom pool up with water, and then we'll just dump whatever's in here once a day. That seems seems fair enough, doesn't it? They can walk on open doors. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so this won't work, then. Uh, let you go in from work, so the discourse in here for my bearded on fix. Oh, muggins. Yeah, lovely to see you, bud. So this, this type of build doesn't work, then, Max. So I should go back to what I was going to do with the doors and the mesh tiles. Oh, this would have been so much easier. Is there any way of, like, any other interesting ways of killing critters at the minute, then? There must be some way of doing this. There must be. Push up the water. Alright. Well, we're back to basics then. I mean, we've done this before, but... I thought we might just be able to drop them in, but if they walk on open doors, then fuck it. So yeah, then we'll need some doors like this. And we'll sap a bit of automation in. How do I want to do the automation? Clock sensor. Clock sensor. And a boop. Just do it with a couple of buffer gates, I think it'll be fine. Not exactly high tech, but it'll do. That will do. Uh, could you just kill them by just dumping them in the coal biome for a while? Nah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't die off. It's, like a lot of the critters have quite extreme survival temperatures. Like they used to anyway. But nah, we'll be fine. This will work. Uh, let's just not build these walls right now. Bastard. Built it instantly. Okay, so that's something they can crack on with. Um, Gene, stop it. Just stop it. Right, we need to get some of this crap swept out of here. And I think we'll sweep it to here for now. Oh. I'm really not on my game today. I'm feeling like I've, I've had a bit of headache all day and it's just really got me out of sorts. But we'll be fine. We'll get back on track. I've got nicotine now and I think that has been the missing link all day. That's been what I've wanted. Until my pipe breaks and then I'll be furious again. I use a series of doors to push them off the edge into the water. Do they not get trapped in doors though? Like if you force... Oh, for fuck's sake. If you force close a door on a uh, on a hatch, doesn't it just sit in the door until it gets opened again? I don't think they get moved along, do they? Unless that's another change I'm unaware of. This is in one of your YouTube videos, right? Uh, yeah, I have done sort of uh, kill chamber rooms and stuff before. We've done it on stream, and I've also I think I did a little video on like how to kill critters or something. Some of these some of these builds are quite old. I've not not touched them for a long time. Um, but yeah, we did do like a, a killing chamber. I think it was when we had like eighty hatches to kill or something stupid. But yeah, if we're gonna if we're gonna farm hatches, we're gonna have quite a few additionals. We probably want an egg dropper in here as well, don't we? Do 
I would think. Might actually be too high, uh, too low for an egg dropper. That was a bit of an oversight. Oh, when you had to kill the light bugs. Oh, the light bugs we did we did manually though, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I should I fucked this up. I should have done an egg dropper in here. Do I want to make this lower? Because the thing is, if, if you want to do an egg dropper, you need to have enough tiles so that the sweeper arm can't reach the bottom tile. And this is like one, one too, uh, too high. <laughs> All ten million, ten million of them. The sound still haunts me. Yeah. Just crack the eggs. What well, omelette mix? Yeah, it could do, I suppose. But then you have to think of potentially killing all your all your critters. If you just crack the eggs, then you have to keep a close eye on your critters to make sure you're not killing them all off. That's the only bastard. Because at least with this, you can potentially have egg, eggs sat in here, and if you know which you're running low, you've got a bit of a buffer. Hmm. Just bring meat into the diet, so you're just killing them for uh, just. For, or are you killing just for sport? <laughs> it's not for sport. We will we will use the meat. Um, but we're going to have an excess of them. I can't do anything about that. They're going to breed and breed. Um, I mean, I could just leave the, the ranches overcrowded, maybe. Because what is it now? They get like a 600% reduction, uh, reduction to reproduction if they're cramped. Gonna do an egg dropper. Change my change my mind. Oh, fuck! I need to get rid of this crap if I do that. Meh. Meh. What's the point of cooling natural gas? Uh, in what regard, bronze? What do you mean? Uh, it's a bit of an open question. That. What? What do you mean? Stop doing this stuff. I just thought, please don't do this. Oh, you have wheeze water near the geyser. It's because otherwise the natural gas comes out 150 degrees. If I don't cool it off a little bit, it would kill my pump. So it's just keep it a bit colder, that's all. Uh, right, I need to rip this out now. I think that should just about give me room. And the only reason I'm doing this now is because in the future I might decide that I want it. And if I do, I want to have the option rather than just bottlenecking my uh, my build before I've even started. Because I do have a tendency to build things very close together. Um, when it comes to the, uh, the final base. So if I don't get this done now, it'll bite me in the ass later. I know it will. I just know it. Um... So, let's bang you there. And let's just shifty this gas over. Uh, so, you and you. This isn't pretty, I know, but it'll do. I don't know why I bothered using these fecking gas things. They're useless. Absolutely useless. We will rip them all out. I'll, I'll probably do an overpressurized tank in a minute. 
fucking useless. Okay. Why am I still not built these? No, they are doing stuff. Oh, you can actually still fill these when they've got nothing there. They've got no foundation. Oh, no, wait. Oh, yeah. It's saying it's got a foundation problem, but it's still filling up. Maybe it won't pump out if it's got no foundation or something. I don't know. Alright, we'll just move this. I don't, I don't just want to rip these open, basically, and kick out all this natural gas into the base. So we'll just move this for now. Seems to pump out at a reasonable rate. Same same rate as a pump, I think. It's pretty sweet. And then we'll rip this out in a minute. So then, if you were to go here, I could then put my floor there, and we'd be all right. That should be fine. There's uh, that natural gas buffer for when the vent is dominant, so it's tending to tend to oven base things. Oh no, this was just, just playing with the tanks. It was just I'd not built them before, I wanted to see how good they were. And I couldn't quite visualize how much 150 kilos was. Turns out it's feck all. <laughs> so I built them just to build them, really. We'll rip them out. As soon as I've got a proper natural gas storage, we'll rip them out. I'll probably build a little tank here or something. I'm not sure if I want to have um, storages for all gases in the base. So I've held off building it just yet. No, it was just another random thing to try. I'm just going to have to very quickly check on the tea that's in the oven. So I'll BRB one second. I'll leave the game running. If anybody dies, I'm reloading. Are we out of algae again? Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, let me, let me make sure we're doing some algae digs. I've not dug that yet. It's just a long way. Mm. Right, let's just do a few digs around here. Otherwise, the base is going to starve. I'll dig out a bit of this as well. Got little random pools of water all over the place, haven't I? I've really been sloppy in um, tidying things up in this playthrough. Where can I get a bit of easy algae from? 